I didn't do any sports. I didn't play sports in school. I came home, you know, cut firewood, play in the woods, and tended to cows. My name's Spencer Stinnett. I'm from Western Limestone County. So I grew up on a cattle farm not too far from here. My grandparents, my brother, me and my father and mother. My family in total, we've literally been on the land in the same exact spot for about 200 years. My dad's an aircraft mechanic. He manages a regional airport in Decatur. It's called Prior Regional Airport. Um, it was founded at the start of World War II, and it trained B-17 bomber pilots uh, throughout the war and after the war. Whenever my dad has a break from work, he'll fly over the house. He'll he'll give a flyby to us, and we you know we run out into the yard and we wave at him, and you know it's just it's just things like that that. Oh, there's your dad flying over, you know. It's pretty cool. You know, there was never really a first day. Some of my earliest memories are being out there right after my dad started his business in a single airplane hangar, smaller than this hangar, of him working on just a couple of airplanes. Uh, I was an aircraft lineman, which is, if you know the guys with the wands or the guys that fuel airplanes that you may see, any commuter airport, any sort of international or domestic airport that you see out on the ramps uh, and working around the airplanes. I was one of those guys. So obviously with working out at the airport, I started flying at a pretty early age. I guess the joke goes, how do you know that somebody's a pilot? Oh, don't worry, they'll tell you, right? <laughs> There's nothing like flying versus any other mode of transportation. Being able to look around you completely around you, 360 degrees. You're able to just about go anywhere. You really can, within certain uh, parameters, fly and go just about anywhere and see whatever you want to see. <laughs> One of my friends actually called me when he was stranded in Colorado a couple of months ago. I was like, hey man, is there any way that you could fly out and get me? You know, that's, it's a unique, <laughs> not a lot of people I feel like get asked uh, if you can, hey, can you fly out here and pick me up real quick, I'm, I'm in trouble. Not only airplanes, but I've grown up around tractors, boats, cars, motorcycles. I've been able to learn and operate all sorts of equipment and machinery. Living on a farm, you know, I, I'm another hand there. I'm, I have to participate, I have to help. <laughs> My family earn a living with that. Growing up out here is definitely a much more isolated existence than it is living in a town, living in a subdivision, living anywhere else. Uh, definitely a lot narrower uh, points of view. People have their views, people have their ways of life, and they don't really want to change. Being out at the airport was a, was a major introduction for me into other ways of life, other people. Uh, it kept me being from just another dirt farmer, redneck, living in Chicken Leg, Alabama here. It's a difficult thing because whenever there's a house or a farm or any sort of physical attachment that runs through generation after generation, there, there becomes ties to it. And it's very difficult to break those ties, such as me wanting to move away, wanting to do something different. It, it's just very hard and it's hard for people still within your family to understand those things. Flying really opened my eyes and gave me a lot more curiosity about the rest of the world. Along with that, it gave me a lot of the methodology and the skill set I needed to travel. Uh, just being able to carefully plan things, being able to carry out those plans, I would say a lot of that really came about from working at the farm, from flying, from all of this. I mean, it really gave me a broad skill set that's allowed me to do a broad range of things and to travel to a, a large number of places. A lot of the lower 48 states, to Costa Rica and back. I just got back from Iceland this May. I'm gonna try to go on a trip to Thailand for about a month. Also Morocco. Morocco is a, another trip that we're trying to take. Me and a friend of mine wanna take a couple of motorcycles around the Sahara. Uh, I, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't be able to have the confidence or the skill set to do this if I hadn't grown up in this environment. I'm lucky. I just hope that I can continue doing this for a long time.
Roger, roger. What's your vector, Victor? 